What is up everybody? Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look. Oh wow, there's my fingers in the way. Today we're gonna be taking a look at this Mark Gonzalez book. Um, I guess, so this time I didn't write any notes or anything, so I'm not really ready to go, but I, I didn't read through all the book yet anyway. It had been on my radar for a little while. Freaking love Mark Gonzalez, as I'm sure you probably do if you're checking this video out or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so I guess I'll start with uh, just a little uh, little story. Um, it's not all that interesting, but uh, I read an article a few years ago, maybe like four or five years ago, um, that Mark Gonzalez did not have a smartphone. And that's important uh, for the purpose of this little mini review of this book or whatever, because <clears throat> if there's one current skateboarder that I would love to check out kind of what they've been up to day to day and, and being an artist, like checking out their art, whatever, um, it would be Mark Gonzalez and dude just doesn't have a smartphone. Uh, I'm assuming that's still true because I can't find him anywhere on the internet. Um, <clears throat> so because of this, you know, from time to time, I'm like, huh, I wonder what he's up to. Uh, right now, um, I believe there is a show in Tokyo. I didn't do too much research on this, um, but I, I plan on it, um, called, well, I guess I'll put it in here. I think it's like feel no pain or there is no pain or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I know he had said in some previous interview in the past that he feels no pain. Um, I don't know if that's actually true. There's some people that really don't, but, uh, I, I don't think that's true of him anyway. I think that's just a saying he likes to use. Um, but yeah, so the reason I, I bring that up is, uh, being an artist myself and, and being into skateboarding and stuff, like there's plenty of personalities out there on Instagram and Facebook and all that other stuff, mostly Instagram that I check. Um, and, and I can see what kind of projects they're working on from day to day. And it's, it's really a bummer that like Mark Gonzalez doesn't have anything like that going on. But anyway, uh, now let's get to the book because there's a reason that I say all that. And I apologize in advance. My camera is, uh, really, uh, <laughs> fuzzy right now, unless you're like right up close like that. Uh, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but <clears throat> I had been keeping my eye on this book for a little while and really was interested in it. The only problem I have with this book, uh, now that I already own it, I do love it, but it really isn't what I was expecting. So I was really expecting an opportunity to check out a lot of Mark Gonzalez's artwork. And this book is really lacking in that regard. Um, most all the photos in here are from someone else that either took pictures of him, which is awesome. All the, all the skateboarding stuff uh, and pictures of him are fantastic. And there is like a quick little preface, preface, like whatever you, that's called uh, with Mark. <clears throat> However, and like this stuff is cool, but it just kind of to me feels like a really big issue of Thrasher or Transworld skateboarding when that was a thing, probably a little more Transworldy. Um, for instance, like this Ed Templeton photo is not, it was not taken by Mark Gonzalez, but it's a giant photo of Ed Templeton. And each, each little uh, interview, like this is an interview with Ed Templeton, starts out talking about Mark Gonzalez, but they almost always start to go off, not on a tangent, but just like, it's not always about Mark Gonzalez. Fantastic book really really fantastic book but uh, you know I, I don't know if it was an artistic choice that they had here like here's cause and cause is a cool artist but you know I, I wasn't really looking to read anything about cause even if he mentions mark gonzalez a little bit in here um it, you know it just goes and goes and goes to the point where then he's like they just start talking about a lot of other things and but there's a nice cool picture of mark gonzalez though um, uh, but, uh, yeah, so it's a fantastic book, but it definitely just wasn't what I was expecting. And I really, really, really wanted a book with more of Mark Gonzalez's art in it. And like I said, th there's some in here, but it just really isn't as much as I expected. Um, but that's about it. I, I, I haven't read every article. There's some articles that are really nice. Like, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Jason Lee. And he's in here somewhere, and it's cool to hear, you know, a little mini story about Mark Gonzalez and Jason Lee. 
and whatnot. And, and I do follow Jason Lee on Instagram and, and, you know, he posts a lot of his photos and stuff, but it just always kind of becomes something not about Mark Gonzalez. Like, and, and it seems like one of the last questions is always like, what drives you nuts? And, and I don't really know why that's in here. It really has nothing to do with Mark Gonzalez, but still a killer book. Um, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm really happy that I have this in my collection, but if you're really just looking for a book of like Mark Gonzalez's art and, and just really just about Mark Gonzalez, to me, it wasn't really what I was expecting. Still a killer book. Um, <clears throat> it's got this really nice canvas cover. It's really nice to have this beautiful photo on the front of Mark Gonzalez. Um, I guess Sem Rubio did most of the photos. But like I said, not exactly what I was expecting. Uh, that's about it though. Um, fantastic book, but it just doesn't really feel like the kind of Mark Gonzalez book that I was looking for. So maybe in the future, I will get something like that and that'll be great. In the meantime, I'll just keep Googling his art and seeing what I can find out there uh, when when the mood strikes me. But uh, yeah, so there's my little, that's my uh, two cents, as they say. So that's it. Cheers, everybody.